Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to cover uh, setting the ignition timing on a crossfire injection 305 or 350. Um, first thing you need to do, I've already got my timing light hooked up. Uh, first thing you need to do is disconnect on an 82 to 83 F body. Um, there is a tan wire with a black stripe. That's your um, EST bypass wire. You're gonna wanna disconnect that before you start the car up. That way your ignition timing will remain at base timing. On an 82 and 83 F body, <clears throat> this wire is located uh, toward the rear of the passenger side valve cover. It's a single wire. On an 82 and 84 Corvette, um, I'm 99% sure it's located over by the, uh, between the brake booster and the wiper motor. Um, but once you bring the engine to operating temperature or as close as you can get it, um, so it goes into closed loop, um, shut the car off, disconnect that, that tan wire with the black stripe. Um, like I said, I got my timing light already hooked up. Um, depending on how tight your engine compartment is, if you got headers or anything like that. Um, I, I always hook it up up by the distributor cap, it's just easier, because it's buried way down there, down by the plug. Uh, if you got a dial back timing light, leave it at zero. Um, start the car up. It may not start up on the first try. This did. Uh, it's gonna idle low, a little bit shaky, because there is just base timing in it. Um, and just time it from there like any other standard V8 engine um, on a small block Chevy or on a crossfire anyway. Your timing mark is going to be down between the back of the water pump and the front of the timing cover. Um, you'll see the timing tab. You may have to clean it off a little bit. Right now mine's at about 10. Um, these crossfires, for whatever reason, time from the factory pretty lazy. Um, I know the F bodies of the 305, um, their factory set at a base timing of 6 degrees before top dead center. Um, you can usually run at least 10. Um, I've seen and heard of guys running up as much as 12, 13 degrees. Um, it does depend on if you're running, a, uh, running an EGR valve or not. People say the EGR valve kills performance, this, this, and that. Um, the EGR does reduce combustion chamber temperatures, which does allow for more timing. Um, so I just, you know, I, I had it bypassed and deleted for a while, but I just hooked it back up because I was getting car throttle detonation, uh, especially in the summertime with the air conditioning on and stuff. You kind of hear it ping a little bit, which will effectively hurt your gas mileage. Uh, performance overall just because the computer is pulling timing out it doesn't pull out a degree or two at a time it'll pull 10 degrees and gradually advance it back up until it hits that nation again and then it'll pull another it'll pull a 10 degrees back out so it's a constant back and forth so i've found over the years of messing with these things it's best to leave the egr valve hooked up um, if it is functioning properly um, and the car does run better with it functioning but anyway um, once your timing is set, um, you know, it's like any other small block Chevy, you've got your 916 set bolt buried way down there so you can barely get your hand on it. Um, you can get a distributor wrench um, online, they're, they're about 10 bucks, or fortunately on this one I got a, a swivel head um, ratchet and gear wrench. But anyway, set your base timing, Try you can try 10 right off the bat, see how it goes from there. Um, once your timing is set, shut the car back off. You will have a check engine light on because your EST bypass wire is disconnected. Um, see the check engine lights on. Um, shut the car off. Um, tighten your distributor back down before you shut it off. Shut the car off, hook up your EST bypass wire, and you'll be at 10 degrees base timing or whatever you set it at. And you, like I said, from there you can play with it it's, uh, to where your car likes it. All right, hope this clears up any questions that anyone's been having. I've been getting requests for a video like this. Um, and uh, yeah, more to come.